So yeah, I conquered. Yes, driving the left hand side of the road. I can do anything now. So I made it to Alamo Rental Car. Okay. Be easier if I put that down a little bit. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. All right, so this is the car, guys. I am on the freaking left-hand side. Just got the rental car. It looks like it's a Toyota. Um, I think it's a Prius. I'm not sure. But I'm about to drive to my Airbnb. Wish me luck, guys, driving on the left-hand side. I'm so scared. So this is what it looks like. It's a cute little area. All right, let's see if I can find my way in. This is it, guys. I have to pee so bad. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. We close this. Oh. oh, they have a little key. Oh, this is so cute. So this is their house, and this is the entrance to the door here. I'll show you guys what it looks like inside. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. Alrighty guys, so I'm in the Airbnb. It is so cute and quaint. The host, I think uh, Rebecca and Kim, like this is beautiful. So it's their actual like, um, it's like their little, oh, I just realized I went to wash my hands and like the water is stopped. I don't know if there's a certain way to drain this. Huh. How do you, how do you drain that? Okay, um, I'm gonna have to find out how that's drained. But anyways, so um, I parked right outside as you guys seen, and I really hope I can park there. There's free parking on the weekends here in court. I just don't know where. I just parked behind a car, and I I don't. There's like there's no lines indicating like where you can and cannot park. So I really hope I don't get told. I should have just parked here around the corner. But I'm gonna ask them. Um, if I see them I'm actually gonna write them and say hey where I parked is it okay but anyways I'm going to let my phone charge for a little bit I'm gonna go into town I'm just gonna walk into town even though I got a rental car because the rental car is for tomorrow for the Dingle Peninsula which I'm so excited about kind of scared a little bit too but um, let me show you guys what this place looks like all right so here is the door I came in through so from the door this is a 360 view to the right of me you have like a little kitchenette uh, they have breakfast there's a little fridge down there and they have breakfast stocked in their fridge for me so that's so sweet and I'm hungry so I'm about to devour that then over here you have the bathroom which I'll walk in in a few and show you guys you have like a little seating area you have a little air con here um, and then here you have it looks like a full slash queen size bed right here with a mar that painting is beautiful on the top um, and then this is just a blank area here and like a luggage holder here so this is it this is all you get and this is all I need I'm just one person is even enough for two people or even if you're a family of three I think this is fine for you so that's basically the tour that's all that it really is I'm gonna refresh myself because I'm gonna go into town and find me some Hey guys so the rain never stopped it's actually raining pretty hard outside where it is really gonna affect what you do that kind of ruins like my first day in cork honestly it's it's just it's too much rain all right so i'm like all bundled up right now because i don't know if you guys can see me 
I am about to go and get some ramen. It's eight minutes away from here. So might as well. So I threw on my sweats, my scarf, my jacket, because it's pouring. Um, hopefully my feet don't get wet, but oh, my shoes are so wet. Ah! Oh, my shoes are wet. All right. Ah, so this is the place. All right, hey guys, so as you've seen, I did go ahead and get me some dinner um, at that ramen place. Um, it was really good. The beef was a little bit too tough for me. I like it a little bit more tender, but honestly, other than that, it was fine. I mean, the price was a little bit too much for it being like tender like that. I mean, for not being tender like that, but I mean, honestly, it's fine, it's food. So I'm just taking off my concealer and my eyebrows because you know I don't have any <laughs> and I'm gonna get a good night's rest morning guys just made me a cup of coffee um and ken and rebecca actually left some breakfast in here for me so i have some english muffins i have some butter i have some slices of the cheese and i'm gonna um eat with it as well i didn't have a time chance to stop at the grocery store last night because of the rain um but i think tonight i'll go and get some slices of like i'll get tomato to have with my bread in the morning um so I'm going to eat my breakfast, get ready for the day, and actually change of plans, guys. I'm going to to the city of Cove instead of the Dingle Peninsula just because um, I'm still kind of weary about the drive. And it is a long day, and I do fall asleep easily, and I don't want to be the only one driving. It's literally like a seven-hour drive doing everything plus making my way back so it's a lot so i'm just going to go 30 minutes away to cove and i'm going to show you guys what that look like but first let's get some breakfast there is i'm gonna put my piece of cheese on here and probably just make like a little sandwich like i said i wish i had a tomato because that would have been really good all right guys good morning so i am on my way to cove like i said i made uh, I'm just gonna end up going to Cove instead of doing the Dingle Peninsula just because um, it's a lot of windy roads. I'm still gonna see the Cliffs of Mohaw, Mohar, Moor, Cliffs of Moor, and a lot of other natural landscapes. So the Dingle Peninsula, it's also a long drive from here and um, a long drive getting back. And I don't wanna get back late and I don't wanna drive in the dark. So I'm just gonna go half an hour away to Cove to see where the Titanic first left, last left before it sunk. Um, Sadly, that's not what the city is known for. I want to learn more about the city. So I'm about to head and see my rental car and head to Cove. Alrighty. Let's start this baby and let's go. That, like, that is gorgeous. Okay, let me park. Oh my God, that is so gorgeous. Oh gosh, okay. look where i have arrived this is gorgeous so this is saint ah oh, is it not saint patrick patrick's cathedral it's called something else um i'll put it down in the description but that is gorgeous 
Oh my gosh, guys, I made it with time to spare. I think this is it over here. I have three minutes before my uh, scheduled tour starts. This is gorgeous. I'm so glad I decided to come here. Like, this is beautiful. Now he was a photographer, so he took 79 photographs on the ship. Um, you probably, have you seen the movie Titanic? I have, you but I've only have. seen it once and I'm going to see it again after this. <laughs> yes, well it's actually very like the real ship because the director of the film, he used original photographs taken by Father Frank Brown on the ship. So wow. he used, because I think they were lost for a while, and the photographs he had taken, but they actually, he actually, they were found, and what was his name, um, do you know the director's name? I don't, I don't mm -mm. Know, but he actually found original, the original photographs many years later, and he used those, I suppose, when he was designing and decorating the rooms and scenes, so, as I said, what, what you did see or what you will see in the mm -hmm. movie, actually very, very like the real ship itself. And this is the only photograph that was ever taken. Okay. That has all of the passengers from Queenstown, so from this town here, who travel on the Titanic. So wow. just the 123 of them, all of them. So down on the quayside down there, that's where third class waited. There were 113 of them. Down here? Yeah, down okay. there. They weren't allowed in the building or on this balcony, no. What? They, they were given their tickets and they were sent down the alleyway and they were told to go that way, yeah. So it was a huge like division oh, between classes. Wow. Yeah, it was only first or second class who could like wait in the building or on the this very balcony. Wow. So that's, as you can see, there were only 10 in total, seven in second class and three in first class. And who are these people here? Just third. They're all third. They're all third. Okay. Yeah. So that's what it, wow. where you would have been down there. Wow. Yeah. Um, also, oh yeah, there was one last person to get off the ship. Okay. But he wasn't a passenger. He was actually a coal stoker. Okay. Uh, and his name was John Coffey. Okay. Um, now he claims, I suppose, that he jumped ship over there at Roach's Point, and later on, when he found out that the ship sank, he started telling everyone he knew that was going to happen, um, and that that's why he jumped ship. Wow. Oh, crazy, right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> he started, they were the only passengers to travel in first class from this town. Okay. Now, um, this cabin would have cost them twenty four pounds, which is the which is two thousand five hundred dollars today for a basic. And cabin. that's for the whole six days. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's not a day. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's for the whole for ticket. It would have been wider, yeah. yeah. So, um, also, you might find this really weird and it's quite strange. There were only two baths to accommodate 700 people. What? <laughs> I know, I never know what to say when I say that, like, no comment, but yeah. They only had two baths. Um, I suppose it was actually quite normal back then. Because people okay. only bathed, like, once a week, so they didn't really find it weird. Um, Seriously? Yeah, so it was quite normal back then. Even the rich? Um, yeah, it was, that's what they did back then. It wasn't, wow. like, wow, okay. It wasn't a big thing. Okay, so, interesting. Um, okay. All of the cabins, they had running water and electricity. Now, I suppose in Ireland, in most of the homes back then, they okay. had neither of those things. So, so this was a luxury. It was really, really big thing, yeah. And oh. while this was only a, like a basic third class cabin on the Titanic, it was like equal or on par to a lot of second class. Okay. Like, All right, guys. So I just finished my tour. I have two tickets here. So you get a ticket. This is the actual ticket that somebody would have gotten. Um, if they purchase the ticket onto the Titanic. So on this ticket, you have your name, you have your age, and you have how many people you're with, and then it'll let you know if you were in first class or third class or second class. And what's really cool on the back of these, it tells you how much a ticket would have cost back in the day. So a third class ticket would have been eight uh, pounds, I'm sorry, eight euros, which is $40, um, which is $640 today. And then a first class would have been 870, which is $69,600 today. That's crazy. This is what it looks like when you get off, when you finish the tour. And here's a replica of the Titanic. So the passenger that I had, which was, um, so the ticket I got when I first entered was, uh, sorry, this is backwards. 
what, sorry if you guys can't hear me um, over the video recording, but my cat passenger was Annie McGowan. She was 17 years old. And on here, it'll let you know if the ticket that you got, um, if your person made it. And I was saved, Annie McGowan, age 17. I was a third class passenger and I was saved. Wow. Wow. Alright guys, so as you've seen, I just left the Titanic experience and I'm so glad that I made my way here because that was an amazing experience to see. Um, just, it was just an amazing experience and I recommend anybody to go see it. Um, so now I'm just walking around the city of Cove, I'm just exploring, I'm taking pictures. Um, but I highly, highly recommend um, this city. Alright, so since it's Sunday, a lot of places aren't open here, so I'm about to go to this one breakfast spot that the only place I do see that's open. This place here. Now I'm about to make my way over to Blackwater Castle, I believe it's called. It's going back towards Cork, which is good. It looks like it's about to rain, so I'm going to start heading over there now, and I'll show you guys what that castle looks like when I get there. All right, guys, heading now back to the car. That was a cute little exhibition. Um, it was only five euros. It was worth it. It was a cute little um, exhibition. But now, on my way back to the hostel. Hostel, I keep saying hostel, Airbnb. All right, I'm gonna start packing and um, probably make my way into town in a bit yay guys i survived driving in ireland this is the last time i'm probably going to use this car until i have to return it so the rental process i'll explain to you guys in my blog post but basically it was pretty easy i used alamo and i'll explain the process in my blog post of exactly what you need and what to look out for but it was the simplest easiest process ever i always use alamo anytime i rent a car no matter where i'm at doesn't matter what country i'm in go with alamo they are the best car rental service this is my car by the way it's a toyota hybrid and it's a iris so yeah i conquered yes driving the left hand side of the road i can do anything now all right guys i am back in the room as you can tell i just parked the car um I just realized that I don't have my ticket to actually leave here on the air coach tomorrow. I only have it from Dublin to Belfast, but I don't have one from Cork to Dublin. So I need to figure that out. I bought one. I just deleted the email and you have to have email before you board the plane. So I just emailed them, but I just realized it's Sunday and they're not going to get back to me until tomorrow, which is when I leave. So uh, I don't know. Hopefully they get back to me in the morning. Well, shower is over. I'm going to be heading back into town. I then gonna get a late lunch early dinner come back here finish packing figure out what i'm gonna do tomorrow about this bus ticket hopefully they reach back out to me in time and then go from there all right guys see you in a few <laughs> morning guys do not mind my mess of appearance right now i literally just woke up so i'm about to make me some coffee and then um uh, a little bit of the breakfast that kid and rebecca left me in the fridge then i'll be making my way this is basically a full travel day i don't end up in belfast until like eight o'clock tonight 
So just enough time to basically get into my hostel, unpack my stuff, probably go out for dinner and then make my way back because the next day I have an early tour that I have to get up for. Um, Game of Thrones theme, so I'm so excited to show you guys that. But um, it's basically a whole travel day today, so I need as much full as possible, food as possible, so like that I don't get hungry. Um, but other than that, let's go get some coffee. Alright guys, so I am all packed up. I am ready to have to go return my rental car. And then after that, I have to catch a bus to make it to the bus station, wait two hours, probably in a coffee shop, and then I'll be on my way to Cork Airport. I'm sorry, on my way to Dublin Air Airport. Yeah, Dublin Airport, and then on my way to Belfast. So I will probably see you guys probably at the coffee shop. If not, I'll see you guys in Belfast.